Take your hands over your head. And when you're ready, squat, uh-huh. And standing up, and then facing the wall. Hands up overhead, and squat. There we go, and standing up. Beautiful. There we go. All right, welcome back. So we are finishing out our healing immersion with Bob. It's day five, adjustment 12. We have seen absolutely incredible progress. So excited to share with you the healing results. Let's go ahead and check, check back in for this adjustment here. And so, uh, you know, connecting back to the system, we've seen a lot of progress throughout care here. Um, we've been working a lot on his hip and knee and ankle. Uh, when he first started, when you're watching him walk, he had a lot of fixation in that lower back. Um, I did end up getting x-rays for him. I wanted to confirm what I've been feeling with my hands. And we did see quite a bit of L5, S1 degeneration and compression, again, at the C4, C5, C6 levels. Um, we had you know, excess bone production, spurring. Uh, however, that's all innate intelligence trying to bring stability to a system that was dysfunctional. The beauty of it all is no matter what the spine looks like, you can get better. Right. And so that's what we're here to do is to help living systems perform and express uh, better. <laughs> and we do that through connecting to the spine and connecting to the nervous system. And so we've got much better SI movement on this left side. That's actually feeling near perfect. Still got, you know, some levels of fixation at the L4, L5. So we're going to clear that up right now. I'm going to do a, a prone adjustment with Bob. The system's been responding really well to that. So this is L5, L4 facet on this right side. If you want to bring it in close here, Alex, right there. Sure. <laughs> Watch day. There we go. Opila. That was big. So it's getting full on cavitation releases, that crepitus that we were finding, which is again, not a, not a solid joint release. It's more of like a scratchy fiberglass, like sandpaper feeling of a release. Now it's just clean release. If you watch the video in slow-mo, you'll see that go all the way through the system. It did catch a little bit in the right shoulder. This has also been one of the major areas that we've been working on film. He did have some degeneration in those thoracics as well. But again, like to me, it's like, those are just signs that we need to clean up the joints. You know, when you start to see that compression, you start to see the fixation in the excess bone growth, that's like teeth that haven't been brushed in a long time. So, you know, part of the ways we brush those teeth of the spine, right, is by delivering adjustments. Every adjustment, when you hear the sound, it's the, the joint opening, right? So those, where those two vertebrae come together, the joint opens, and then we create a glide and slide there. And as we do that, it's like taking a little toothbrush and cleaning it up. All right, so let's see. He also had some curvature um, of the spine going this way. So you had a curve going this way with compression and then a curve going the opposite way, which is a typical pattern of an S curve. So it's checking in on scapular motion. Still has some level of fixation within the scapula and scapula is slightly winged to the right. So what I like to do is find a way to guide the scapula. So I'm using my whole hand here as a connection. Guide that scapula back home. And then as the scapula is in a much better place, the system's in a better place to be adjusted. Now this one's actually connected to his jaw. I could feel it as I compress into where that continues to go and it's anchoring into the jaw on the right side. So what I'm instructing him to do is go ahead and open your mouth just slightly, Bob. Let it go. Good, let go of the resistance. There, got it. So we are working with living systems and in order for us to receive a proper adjustment, we have to go into the energy of receivership. And to enter that energy, we need to feel safe, right? And so it's the job of the chiropractor to respect when a system is open and also respect when it's not open. Because sometimes you might find that, you know, okay, I think this area needs to be adjusted, but is it ready to be adjusted? Uh, is there enough trust in you? Is there enough trust in your skill? Do you have the capacity right now to integrate that adjustment, you know, for the person on the table? 
All those are very, very, very important. And something that, you know, I help teach uh, with Kairos Training Culture, which is, you know, a company that helps create awesome healing facilitators and respecting these living systems. That feels awesome. I want to recheck this left fibula. Okay. So still slightly posterior right here. So I'm going to see what position of the leg can we get there. And so we see that's connected to the chain. So actually, if you watch his pelvis as I push in here, so we got that connected to the entire chain. So we are going to include it in our adjustment. So where do I get that tensioning along the rest of the system? Even though I got direct compression on the fibula, so it's linked, then I send it. One of the better releases on a fibula I've ever gotten, right there. That was beautiful. And then how is the rest of the chain integrating that impulse? So now I'm saying, okay, how's that gastroc? How's the soleus into the Achilles tendon? Bob, when you first started that, Achilles tendon was super tight, right? On that left side? Yeah. And it's been loosening up? So, um, you know, a lot of times when you have pain at a certain part of the body, you think that's the problem. It's usually somewhere else. And so um, for him, it was partly due to this fibula and the fixated pelvis that was creating unnecessary uh, tension on the Achilles. And now as we get that in better alignment, the whole system has more ease. Go ahead and roll to your back for me, Bob. Mm-hmm. And I remember even the first adjustment, you were having a hard time rolling over side to side. You remember that? Yes. In that way. Around adjustment four, we had a, a really big adjustment with Bob along the sternum. So I'm going to recheck that. It was like the second or third rib on the left. It's Yeah. So we could still do some work here. So this is third rib. Good. So he feels it, right? He's noticing it. So I gotta make sure he's open as well. Got it. So that went whoom, and then released through part of the AC joint there too. When we first started, had a lot of anterior roll of the right shoulder. You can see that's finding a much better position. The tension that was there from spasm is massively decreasing. Been getting a lot better joint movement in the cervical spine. So all the way through. So here, what we're gonna be working is main, mainly fixation through the C5-6 on the right side. So I got a finger contact right there, but I'm gonna help with this left side. So I'm opening up the front part of the joint there while delivering an adjustment here as well. So we'll get through both sides of the facet joints. Got it. With the major release happening there. I remember when we first were adjusting your neck, you'd also <laughs> scream out in pain almost every single time, eh? Much better. Bend your knees for me. We've also been helping. Uh, it's okay. All right. It's all right. You let them go. We'll get them later. Here, give it to me, Bob. I got it. All right. So uh, you're going to bend this leg too. Bend them up. There we go. All right. So we've also been working this left hip as it relates to the psoas and then the iliacus. And that muscle tone right now is completely balanced. So we are beautiful there. There's still some stuff within the hip. And so we're gonna do our check again. If you remember going back to the first video we did together, he couldn't have any internal rotation. So it would stop here. Can you see this, Alex? So as we did this, he would stop actually right there. I think the foot was turned out and I come this way and it was capped. But now we're about getting closer to 20 to 30 degrees of rotation on that side. It's easier to do it on the right side, but he's got the mobility. So now to me, that means he's got to continue to train with mobility, opening up everything. So I'm also going to check the hip in distraction, internal rotation distraction, external rotation distraction. So that actually it's the midline distraction where I feel like I can get more connection to the joint and the system receives it better. So I'm gonna use a long lever through the foot to go to the hip, and it's right there is where it wants to open. Got it. 
Breathe. Our breath is our integration, right? A lot of times we experience something in our, in our lives and it, it can shock us or shake us. And our breath will be the indicator to our body, whether that was an asset in our life, something beneficial, or a liability, something detrimental. And so when we know something is working for us, breathe into it instead of trying to escape it. There's pains in life that are really beneficial to us as we learn to work with them. Perfect in the hips. And what I've been feeling is this quad is really tight. And so we've given him some homework. He's gonna start uh, rolling and pinning parts of the quad to get some releases and to also get his system used to touch there. Right now it's been in such a defense mechanism that it's uh, pushing everything away. All right. Beautiful, you can come on up, Bob, in here. There you go, three, two, one. There we go. All right, and we're gonna share some of his story, and we're also gonna show you the functional results. Again, this was 12 visits healing immersion at the Source Chiropractic here in Tucson. Thank you for following Bob's journey. We love and appreciate you. Okay, so what I want you to do is you're gonna bend forward like you're gonna to touch your toes, okay? Go ahead, whenever you're ready. <laughs> Bob. Wow. So you started 60 out of 90 degrees in flexion. You're now full 90 out of 90. That's full range of motion. Full range of motion. Okay, and come back up. How's that feel there? Any pain? Oh, yeah. Yeah, where do you feel it? Congratulations. Now we're going to do back extension, okay? So it's here, and then you're leaning back. So if you want to get a side view on this one, Alex. All right, go ahead and go. You're going to lean backwards. There you go. Look at that. Perfect. Come back up. A little bit of tension there. Okay. But you used to feel it in the neck. Was there any pain in the neck? So no pain out of the neck. And when he first started, he had um, uh, 10 out of 30 degrees. When he first started, that's full 30 out of 30. So we're going to get a front view again, Alex. And now we're going to do the side bending. So you'll bend over to one side and then the other. So go ahead when you're ready. Awesome. I give you about, yeah, 25 out of 30. Let's go to the right side. A little better to the right. I'm gonna go full 30 out of 30 on the, on the right side. That's beautiful. So when you first started, you were 10 out of 30 each side. So you're almost full um, and no neck pain. All right, hands here and then rotate. There we go. That's full 30 out of 30 and the other way. Beautiful, 30 out of 30. Awesome, and then you can have a seat right there, Bob. And then we're gonna do neck range of motion, okay? So you're gonna tilt your head down. Beautiful, and then uh, you're gonna go backwards. I would say you are about approaching full 50 out of 50. One of the most magnificent uh, increases in range of motion I've seen with the person, especially in only five days. Okay, so let's go ahead and go ear to shoulder. Side, so yeah, if you wanna get front of me here, go ahead. All right, and the other way. All right, do that one more time, go to the left. So I'm gonna go about 20 out of 40 to the left and then go to the right. And about the same, maybe a little bit further, 25 out of 40. So when you first started, you were five out of 40 to the right, you're now 25, so 20 degree improvement. And then you were 10 out of 40 to the left, you're now 20 out of 40. Let's get rotation. So you're gonna turn your head to the right. <sighs> Let's go. First started 30 out of 80, he's full 80 out of 80 on the right side. Let's go left rotation. Beautiful, full 80 out of 80 and left rotation started 40 out of 80. So you had almost 100% improvement in everything. Okay. And then how about if you turn your neck to the left? A little bit further to the left side, yeah. 40 to 50, okay. High five. Boom. All right. Let's do the... <laughs> you're welcome, you're welcome. We're gonna get muscle tests now, you ready? So when you first started, we couldn't even do this test. On the right, I'm sorry, on the left side it was zero. On the right side it was two. Okay, so we're gonna start the upper body muscle test. We're gonna start with the right deltoid. 
So right there, go ahead and push up into my hand, push up. Good, go ahead and push up. Perfect, that's five out of five on the right deltoid. It was a two out of five. By the way, relax. What happens here, right? People are like, how is a muscle getting stronger from adjusting somebody's spine? Well, that's because the nerves that exit the spine is what supplies the muscles with their power. <laughs> it's really that simple, y'all. And so here we are, starting with a two out of five on a right deltoid, now full five out of five motor function. Drop your elbow down to your side. Give me a bicep curl, curl, boom, full five out of five. Tricep push down, push down, boom, follow five out of five. Go ahead and make an arm straight out and then make a fist, bring it back towards your head and hold, good. Flex down and hold, good. Spread the fingers wide, hold them wide. I'm gonna try to bring them in. Good, so we got full functioning right arm with neuromuscular coordination. Five out of fives across the board. Congratulations, sir. We're gonna do the left side. So we had more weakness on the left deltoid. The left deltoid was originally, I, uh, we couldn't perform at all. Had a hard time getting up without pain. So hold the arm here, good. And go ahead and push into my hand here, push up. Okay, so we still have a little bit of weakness and you can see he does have a little bit of pain here. Uh, he's gonna get his trap activated when we try to bring the shoulder up. So there's still more work to be done here. Now with that said, this was a zero out of five when we started. Push straight up for me, push up, boom. I'd give that somewhere in the range of a three to four. We'll say 3.5 for now on the left deltoid. And then we're gonna do the other ones real quick of the upper body, go ahead and bicep curl, good. Tricep push down, push down. Bring the arm straight out, make a fist, bring it back towards your head, hold. Uh, fist down, hold. Spread fingers wide, hold them wide. I'm gonna try to bring them in. Okay, perfect. Everything else, five out of five. So 3.5 uh, muscle test improvement on the left deltoid from a zero to 3.5, and then from a two out of five on the right deltoid to a full five out of five. I'm happy. That again, 12 visits here at the Source Chiropractic. Let's lay on your back here. And again, we did do a healing immersion here, which means that we are increasing the amount of adjustments so that we can accomplish that in a shorter time frame which is beautiful for anybody that wants care that was gonna fly in or plans on flying in uh, for care. We can facilitate that, we can accommodate that. Um, and again, what we do and what we change is we see you anywhere from two to four times a day. Okay, all right, so uh, we're gonna check the lower body muscles now. We're gonna start with the left quad. We're gonna bring the leg up. I want you to push straight up towards the ceiling, push up. Good, push up again. Boom, that's full five out of five on the left quad. Let's see where he was at when he started. When he started, we had Left quad, non-performing. Non could, could, that was a zero. From a zero to a five out of five. Woo, let's go. You're gonna push up this direction, push up. Boom, so ass, full five out of five. When he first started, we were a four out of five. TFL, we could not perform either, because it was hard to get the leg out like this, because we had no internal rotation. Bob, can you push up and out? Up and out, boom, there. That one's a four, not full strength, but we couldn't even get it up the first time, and now it's moving. All right, so five on the psoas, five on the quad, four on the TFL on the left side. And now we're also gonna perform the right side here. So right straight leg quad test. Go ahead and push straight up towards the ceiling, push up, good, push up. There we go. Four out of five on the right quad. Psoas, you're gonna push up in this direction. Go ahead and push up, perfect. Five out of five on the psoas. And then TFL, bring the leg in, push up and out there, push up and out. Awesome, five out of five on the right TFL. Love it. So uh, last time he scored a three out of five on the right quad. Again, we're a full five out of five, I'm um, sorry, four out of five now. So one point improvement there and a five on the TFL. I am happy. See if there's anything else we wanna do here. We're also gonna check the posture gait and squat. All right, Bob, when you're ready, you're gonna go ahead and walk towards us. And then you can turn around and walk back. Let's go. Sweet. So much better. Your hands over your head. And when you're ready, squat. Uh huh. And standing up. And then facing the wall. Hands up overhead. And squat. There we go. And standing up. Beautiful. There we go. Since I had the chiropractic adjustments, I 
marketably noticed the changes in not only my physical um, pain was relieved, uh, my organs started refunctioning well. Uh, I noticed right away my PTSD was alleviated and not triggered. And so I could focus in on the, the pains I was being treated for. So my skin uh, reacted immediate, immediately to the treatments. And I noticed that. So it feels much more alive, like it's being nur nurtured uh, by the system. Uh, my uh, pain is gone. So I'm able to focus my mind on the tasks I'm at and be more uh, consciously aware of what's around me rather than just being focused in pain. So I feel like my heart center is open more and I'm able to receive more rather than just having these walls of protection. So yeah, my um, emotional, my mental, and for me, the heart opening is how we, I work spiritually. And so I feel more hopeful about the spiritual practices as an indigenous man that I can uh, participate in ceremony once again. Dr. Brett has given me a renewed uh, sense of uh, hope. For the future, I will be 70 next year. and. Um, I, I want to spend a decade of my uh, older age with good health and I have goals and plans to gain strength to become, I live on the ocean to take up surfing and use the hydrotherapy in a way to connect as well for physical strength, enabling me to participate in Sundance. So, Dr. Brett and his wife Kate are excellent doctors and facilitators. All the staff here has been the best I've ever experienced in any kind of medicine. So I just want to say those things in truth and honesty that uh, I have renewed hope and a sense of purpose. And the biggest thing about PTSD is you feel worthless or non-contributing. So I don't feel that, and that's a good thing.